So this is a tale of seduction, or maybe seduction, because we all know that Aaron O'Toole, the leader of the opposition, wants the NDP to vote for him in the next election. We also had Jerry Dias, the president of Unifor, on the show, and he said, no way, we aren't going to have any truck or trade with the Conservatives in the next election. However, Kim Wright is the president of Lobby Girl. She admits that. She's a lobbyist. She's an NDPer, and she joins me right now because I want to put the question to you. Do you think the NDP is capable of being seduced by the Tories? <laughs> well, it's funny because Mr. O'Toole is trying to talk this great game about how his father worked at GM and trying to make it sound like he was some guy on the line putting together cars. Yes. Not so much. And also, Aaron O'Toole has he, he, His father didn't work at GM? He worked at GM, but he wasn't on the line making cars. But, but beyond that, you've also got Aaron O'Toole's own record since he's been a member of parliament and part of the Stephen Harper cabinet, uh, where he voted, uh, not only voted uh, with the government on some pretty damning labor legislation, but had some pretty not charitable things to say about labor That's unions. That's fine. So people can change their mind. I would and like they can, to and they can change they their can. whole attitude, and we're all a country of forgiveness. So why can't the NDP forgive Mr. O'Toole and say, let's move forward together, hand in hand? If we had actually seen any movement beyond just to say, well, maybe, maybe some of the private sector unions are okay, which is kind of his message box, but those public sector unions, my goodness. Aaron O'Toole has not yet shown he is a friend of labor. There was nothing in his in his leadership platform that at all uh, so sees that he's constructed. So then contrite. let me put this to you. To make this seduction succeed, what does, what does a conservative guy have to do? What should he have to put into his toolbox? Well, you know, I'm always a big fan of authenticity. So, you know, in, in Mr. O'Toole's case on his labor policy, so far, if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, I'm hearing a lot of quacking coming out. I'd like to be But wrong. you're not calling Aaron O'Toole a quack, are you? Not at all. No. I, I believe that people have an opportunity to look at what are practices that are great for Canadians. And by and large, if you look at what's happened with the labor movement, things like pay equity, uh, you know, all manner of health and safety legislation, a weekend, all of that is brought to you by the labor movement. So wouldn't it be better for Canadians if the labor union, for at least an election, got together with the Tories? and kicked out the corrupt Liberals and said, we will create better policies for Canadians. I think they should actually just vote where they should go, which is the New Democrats who actually go with their policies and platforms. There you go again, saying that you're going to make government. You know Abs that's not going to happen. It absolutely can and will. Look, you've got Premier John Horgan in British Columbia who has 57 out of the 87 seats. That's BC. We all know what they're like in BC. We also have lots of places across the province and Andrea Horvath here in Ontario is leader of the official opposition. Everything can and will happen in that 401 corridor is key, and that's why Erno Tool cares about labor. Love you, girl. Always fun. Three minutes. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I hope you subscribe through YouTube and check the description below for Patreon to keep us on the air.